स्वागत है आप सभी का आगाज हो चुका है तीसरे दिन का ऑफ ग्लोबल लिटरेरी फेस्टिवल नोएडा 2024। हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं जामिया मिल् इस्लामिया यूनिवर्सिटी के एक बेहतरीन प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर भूपेश चंद्र लिटल सो सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम फीलिंग ग्रेट थैंक यू एंड आई होप द सेम फॉर यू सर सर तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू हाउ इज द एक्सपीरियंस टूडे एज दिस इज देंथ एडिशन ऑफ ग्लोबल लिटरेरी फेस्टिवल नोएडा सो हाउ इज द एक्सपीरियंस अटेंडिंग द इवेंट्स हाउ इज द एनर्जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल uh it was a wonderful experience a uh, pleasant surprise also uh as i was chosen for one of the awards and obviously uh, the kind of energy that was shown here is marvelous and the way marwa sir <coughs> speaks is something to learn from uh, even as a teacher for last almost 30 years i can say that not many people can speak the way he does uh, he is very very uh, clear in his ideas and very uh, effective also so as you know you are a professor at a very esteemed university of our country तो मैं स्पेशली बहुत एक्साइटेड था इस इंटरव्यू के लिए क्योंकि आज तक जो मेरे सबसे अच्छे कनेक्शंस रहे हैं पूरी अभी तक मेरी ज़िंदगी में वो हमेशा टीचर्स से रहे हैं दे हैव बिन माय टीचर्स फॉर स्कूल एंड फॉर लाइफ एज वेल ओके तो मैं यही पूछना चाहता था कि एक जाकिर खान को मैं बहुत सुनता हूँ तो उनकी एक लाइन है कि इंसान तीन चीज़ों से अमर होता है अपनी ज़िंदगी में पहले अपनी बातों से दूसरा अपने काम से और तीसरा अपने शागिर्दों से अपने स्टूडेंट से कि अगर आपने उन्हें कुछ सिखाया उन्हें वो याद रहा तो आप अमर हो गए तो एज यू हैव बिन अ प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम तो कई सारे स्टूडेंट्स ने आपसे इंस्पिरेशन ली आपकी बातों में दे फाउंड सो लेस दे फाउंड समथिंग टू गेट इंस्पायर्ड फ्राम तो उसी तरीके से क्या साहित्य आपके लिए आपकी ज़िंदगी में एक टीचर की तरह रहा है क्या आपने सीखा है क्योंकि ऐसा कहा जाता है कि अगर आपने साहित्य का साथ पकड़ा है तो वो जो सीखने की जर्नी है वो कभी खत्म नहीं होगी तो आप उसके बारे में क्या कहना चाहेंगे नो डाउट इफ वी स्पीक अबाउट लिटरेचर साहित्य तो साहित्य से तो आदमी को सीखने को बहुत कुछ मिलता है uh, चूँकि मैं लगभग लगभग तीस साल से यूनिवर्सिटी टीचिंग में ही हूँ और उससे पहले भी इनफैक्ट चार साल मैं एक स्कूल में भी टीचर रहा सो ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ माय लाइफ हैव बीन स्पेंड टीचिंग ओनली फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगनिंग माय थॉट वाज टू इन्वॉल्व स्टूडेंट्स एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड आई बिकेम अ टीचर एट ए वेरी यंग एज ऑफ से अराउंड ट्वेंटी टू बट इवन देन आई यूज टू बिलीव इन द गुरु शिष्य परंपरा जो हमारे भारत का एक पुराना पुरानी धरोहर है जिसको आज की डेट में शायद कुछ लोग भूलते जा रहे हैं लेकिन मैं मेरा बहुत शुरुआत से ऐसा मानना था कि वो जो गुरु शिष्य परंपरा का एक्चुअल थाट है वेयर स्टूडेंट अ पीपल इज लाइक ए सन और ए डॉटर दैट वॉज माई थाट फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगनिंग so that is how i started and i still remember uh, i can in fact relate to very interesting stories uh, once i was attending one of the marriages and uh, a colonel came and he shook hands with me and he introduced me i am so, uh, colonel so and so so i shook shook the hands and then i said ke okay nice to meet you then he said ke sir did you recognize me i said ke have we met then he smiled and he said sir you had taught me in class 7th so that was a wonderful experience that somebody uh, after so many years was able to recognize me and he in fact came and met me then he asked his son also he was around 15 16 years old and he introduced me to him and he said ke dekho sir ne mujhe padhaya tha and whatever english i know is because of him because uh, there i was teaching english That is one very wonderful experience I can uh, share uh, क्योंकि आपने कहा कि आपका कनेक्शन टीचर्स के साथ बहुत रहा है ऐसे ही जैसे हम लोग कहते हैं या हम लोगों का बहुतों का सोचना है कि फॉरन कंट्रीज़ में शायद स्टूडेंट्स और टीचर का वो रिलेशन नहीं होता आई डिफर फ्राम दैट आइडिया ओके बिकॉज आई वॉज इन साउथ पैसिफिक यूनिवर्सिटी so uh, when i decided to come back obviously after a, a few years i had to come back to india so uh, one day i told my students and they were not very happy that i'll be leaving this and that and maybe one week's time was uh, left so one day i was wearing a particular shirt that is called bula shirt 
that is specific to uh, that region. Now one of the guys, one of the uh, students, he asked me, okay, sir, what will you do with this shirt when you go back to India? Because uh, these are a particular type of shirts which are not worn here. So I said, I'll keep it as a memory. So he said, sir, can you please give it to me? Then I said, what will you do? And he said, I want to keep it as a memory. So that was a very touching moment and uh, then I said, okay, I'll definitely give it to you. And I uh, went back to my home, uh, got it washed and ironed and then presented it to him. So that's another example where we probably think that foreigners do not have that kind of emotion, that kind of connect. But that all depends on if you as a teacher try to impart your knowledge, try to give something to the students honestly. This is very important. So uh, that is another example. Okay, And uh, I have been, uh, you can say, blessed in the sense that there have been more examples like that. So this is one thing. Now coming to your second point, literature, relations uh, with literature. What I believe is you need to study a lot of literature and literature is not limited to what everybody thinks. Ki hum Hindi padhen ya English poetry padhen and like that. Literature has a vaster definition also. So you need to be involved, you need to learn from as many genre as possible that will uh, definitely benefit you that's my thought sir as also you must have observed many students yeah. who have different impacts of literature and of other piece of information or content on their lives so as a teacher i know that you guys don't judge the students for anything but still there is a difference when a student is inculcated into good practices like reading and all of that as in the modern era, the, the habits of reading and you know, uh, engrossing yourself in reading and literature, that is on a decline. Yes. So, do you see a change of personality or a change in the graph of lives of people who read more? Definitely. It's 100% in my opinion, it is 100% required. The more you uh, read the things, the more you study the things, it is better. But you are very right in saying that the practice of reading, the practice of actually reading the books is declining. Okay. Uh, maybe the younger generation is not so much patient. As to span. yeah, as to as to spend maybe two three hours a day every day, but uh, I remember uh, my father who had a practice of at least reading for three hours daily, and that meant something very serious, serious reading, serious kinds of reading, not any novel, not any fiction. He was not at all into that, but he was a very learned person, and uh, that is one quality I actually got from him and I love reading. I in fact do not like very much if it is a soft copy of a book. I really like to feel that touch of holding the book in my hands and then reading it. So that's very true. What you are saying is also true. And sir, on an ending note, is there a lesson you would want to give all the students uh, and the youth about literature especially? Okay, uh, definitely. Uh, first of all, I would like to convey my thanks to all of you, uh, AAFT 24 by 7 and everybody. Now as a message, uh, what I would like to say is that you never become a master in the real sense. Throughout the life you will keep learning, but you should have that in your head that you can still learn. I still learn from very beginner, from my students only. But that, that, that thought has to be there. Okay, and uh, I would like to end my, uh, my talk with a note that is my own uh, quote. The more you know, the more you come to know how little you know. Okay. <laughs> so actually, if you, if you can uh, understand the gist yes. of that, uh, you actually never become a master. Thank you so much sir for talking to us. It has been a great conversation. I got to learn a lot especially and thank you so much once again. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. ऐसे और सारे मेहमानों से हम आपको मिलवाते रहेंगे और सारे इवेंट अपडेट्स हम आपको देते रहेंगे. उसके लिए बने रहिए हमारे साथ. देखते रहिए आफ 24/7 नोएडा.